is called When I Was Your Age. So do you, are you the friend of the group that people like seek advice from? Sometimes, yes. yes. I've had the- Are you wise? I, a little bit. I okay. mean, I've, I've had the blessing of seeing a lot, you know, so far, because starting early, you know yeah. what I mean? So some people come to me for things, and then, you know, I chime in on things that I see that I can't help. So whether they want my advice or not, I end up giving it if it's a natural reaction or something. But yeah, yeah I'm, I'm usually just like, I've observed. So I can tell you what I've seen. I've observed. Yep. I sound like an owl. I yeah. like it. So wait, so why write a book now? I just felt like it was one of those things that everybody kind of does, you know? And I felt like, have I achieved enough to kind of like talk about anything interesting that would make a book? Yeah. And then I got to a point where I was like, yeah, I think I'm, I'm kind of ready to start like putting stuff out there as far as like who me really kind of is. That's what I'm saying. Because... I think that's what's interesting. You kind of pull the curtain back behind. Because yeah. everybody always, I mean, I imagine, I was a cocktail wait waitress in a comedy club for a couple years and I, before all this, and everybody always expects the comedians to be so funny all the time yeah. in every conversation, every time you run around them. And I was like, that has to be exhausting. I mean, yes. And you don't kind of want to be like misleading. You don't want to do a lot of comedy and then be like very negative and boring at yeah. the same time. Yeah. But you know, a lot of my presence for people is very performative because it's always on a talk show or it's on an actual show or a movie or something like that. So this yeah. was my first time like offering up the rest of it because I didn't know if it was you know interesting enough or not because you know it's just I think my that is personal what's story. You know what I mean? Because yeah. people don't know that they've known you for so long. You know what I'm saying? On TV yeah. and like just to be able to like yeah pull the veil back a bit. I think yeah, yeah. that's awesome. Well, I mean I hope they enjoy it. I yeah. hope everybody enjoys. Did you like being that kind of vulnerable? Do you enjoy that? Um. It's new and it's it's a lot to to kind of like balance and you know tiptoe around like yeah. whatever. But that's why I can't write a book. I don't tiptoe well. Yeah, yeah. Now, I don't I don't tiptoe well either. I, yeah. I stub my toe a lot. Yeah. And, <laughs> um, but it it does feel good to share because the reaction has been so positive from people who have read it. You know what I mean? So yeah. I don't I don't feel like I've burned any bridges necessarily by you know sharing a lot of stories that have other people involved, you know what I mean? Because yeah. you want people to be able to tell their own story type thing, you don't want to speak for people. But, you know, talking from my perspective, I was able to share a lot, you know? It, you know, it's my life, so it's what I've seen. Yeah, absolutely. You just gave me the title for my future memoir, which is Burning Bridges. <laughs> <laughs> Burning Bridges. Just saying. That's right. It's a funny memoir. That's great. I don't tiptoe. <laughs>